This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at cool but weird effects inside Motion 5. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to do motion tracking. Let's just add a, uh, another group. Call this the bracket. And with that selected, let's go to the library. Particle Images gives us all kinds of stuff to play with which is great if I don't blow past it. Brackets right there. Apply. I'm going to pull these brackets over the engines. White against a white background does not work. Select the brackets. Go down to Filters, Color Correction, Colorize, which is how we change the color of anything. F7, and we're going to pick this as a nice green. All right thrilling, but I would like to have the brackets track with the engines. So select the bracket, go back to behavior, motion tracking. There's a motion tracker built into motion. We'll select match, move. Notice that I've selected the foreground, that which is going to move, and then I have this red dot. Put this on a clearly identifiable surface. There's a clear difference if we move this here. There's a clear difference between the background and the foreground. Now it's seeing the original image, not what we've modified with color correction and all the keying. It's seeing the original source image. And I can just drag that and find the best place to put it right there. And then click Analyze. It will then go, whoop, let's stop that for a second. It'll go through and analyze it, but sometimes it's going to lose the track and it'll lose it here. So I'm going to adjust Move a Look Ahead frame, set that to 6, so it looks farther out into the into the future and doing its track. Now when we do it, it should track the whole engine as it's moving. We can see the pointer tracking on the left-hand side as the jet is moving on the right. And our brackets are tracking with the jet as the jet is flying across the screen. Our background is going completely nuts. Okay, good. The motion track is done. Now as we drag this across, we'll just hide this. Okay. Let's just deselect it. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at cool but weird effects inside Motion 5. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 142. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 800 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.